Welcome to part number 20 of Gran Turismo 5 B A Spec. A Spec. God damn it. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're doing the mini challenge. So, yeah, I got the outro wrong in the previous video. Um, I'm in the dealership because I'm trying to see if I can find a Mini Cooper. And we cannot. So, instead, we're going to the new dealership, and we're going to go buy ourselves a Mini from here. No, that's Mazda. Here's Mini. Let's see here. 391, 403. Okay, they're about the same performance, all three cars. I did use a Mini Cooper 11. Yeah, I know there's one in the dealership, but they have weaker Mini Coopers in the UCD. I'm gonna go with the 11, because that stripe on the hood, or bonnet, whatever you guys want to call it, wherever you're from, looks badass. I already used this car for B-Spec. I sold it. Good. And, yeah. Here's our 2011 Mini Cooper S. This car is bay. The Mazda 3? Oh, dude, I have a friend who owns a Mazda 3. Um... It's kind of run down a little bit, believe it or not, just because, like, you know, my friend's brother wasn't really a car person, but it's it's still a fun car to drive. I, Mazdas in general are really cool. Anyways, three laps around Sergito de Madrid. So, Abstract Sky, if you're watching, racing at your home track, bud. Yeah, see, I wanted to find a Mini, Coop a Mini Cooper or a Mini 1 in the UCD because I wanted to challenge myself a little bit. But I don't feel like cycling through the dealership. Yeah, dude, I mean, I, the thing is that my best, you know, actually, it was the dude I was house-sitting for. Um, yeah, he trusts me with his car because he's like, you're a car dude, clearly. I'm like, I don't know much about mechanical stuff. I know a little bit, but he's like, yeah, but you're into cars. Like, you know how to drive. I trust you with my car. I'm like, okay, so whenever we go to places, he's like, but yeah, that Mazda 3 is so much fun to drive. I'd get a hatchback one. Not a, um, not a coupe. Oh, H. Diego DD actually owns a Mazda 3 as well. But the coupe version. Not the five door one. Bit tight at the hairpin here. Hello. Give him a little honk. The Twingo wants to know my location? No. Dude, it's funny how in Forza 3, the Twingo is like the, one of the best, if not probably the best, F-Class car in the whole game. That's a nice yellow up ahead. I think that's an O2 model. Well, see, here's the thing, Sean. So, I'll be honest with you. I got the car for free, right? For my brother. My older brother. And if you're watching this, I'm sorry. But you don't know shit about cars. So, like, he never maintained it or anything. But it was just kind of far gone, dude. It's just there's so many problems with the car, and it's just it's such a hassle to work on. Holy shit, side by side! Through the chicane! And we get ahead. That burn. <laughs> What's up, Mikhail? Like, Sean, you can ask Mikhail, dude. My Eclipse is so bad. Like, in terms of, like, maintenance and stuff, it just needed so much work when I first got it. second lead. Nothing to really worry about now.
The next race I'm gonna do, however, I expect to struggle a lot with it because I'm too stupid to do anything to my car. And if I have to, then I'll upgrade the car. I wouldn't quite say it was dead on arrival. Here's the thing. Somehow the car, like, okay, I picked it up from the Midwest, right? Because my brother used to live in the Midwest. I traveled about 2,000 miles or so. Ah, uh, between oh, thanks for the cash, chump! miles across the country to go back to the West Coast. And the car broke down 10 miles away from my house. I'm like, the car really survived this long, but it died at the end. I'm like, really? Oh, what the hell? Ender, did, did the donation sound just play? Or an alert come up? Because I just received I just received an email from PayPal. And nothing appeared on my screen on OBS. So if something appeared, then I apologize and I didn't read it because it didn't come up on my screen. Okay, I'll read your message after the race is over. So I apologize for missing the donation alert. That's weird, it never showed up on OBS, but somehow it plays with you. I don't know. OBS has been acting weird for me these last couple of days. Internet and whatnot, so yeah. Thank you so much for the donation regardless, Ender. I really appreciate it, dude. Money machine broke. Money. Yeah, right. Already, huh, Mikhail? I'm, I'm pretty pumped for that race. Seven point nine second lead. And yeah, this race was pretty easy. I wanted to challenge myself with the Mini One or the Mini Cooper Standard Model, but. It wasn't meant to be, I guess. What's LBGP? The Long, the Long Beach Grand Prix. So it's an IndyCar race. It's part of the IndyCar calendar and it's also part of the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship calendar. Basically our race here in LA. It's the race that made me a race fan, pretty much, and I've been going to it for 19, this will be my 19th one? Not sure, somewhere around there, I know for sure. It'll be like my, no, 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 that's a lie. This is 2019, it's the 20th anniversary of my first ever one. Williams is gonna be terrible? Yeah, like, honestly, as much as I love him, Kubitz is going to finish dead last in points. I don't see him finishing higher than, like, 15th or so. But we'll see. We will see how the, the Formula 1 calendar shapes up to be. Calendar, the season. We already know what the calendar is like. Okay, so... That is it for the mini challenge. Let's take a look at the prize car. And honestly, I really like this prize. It's the Mini Cooper 1.3i from 1998. Now, I was kind of hoping it came in um, Tahiti blue, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so Ender with the dollar donation says, I'm PayPal and I don't know how to work properly. What do you mean, Android? Yeah, exactly, Android. I mean... Williams will be a, a bad team this year, but at least the drivers are really good. I mean, Kubitz is a good driver. Russell's good, too. And here it is, the Mini Cooper 1.3i. Actually, Almond Green looks pretty good. 
I like it. Okay, so now I'm correct when I say next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we move on to the Lupo Cup, and I expect a struggle there.